First, a police standoff shut down a busy South Charlotte intersection for three hours. This video from Chopper 9, you can see officers out there with their guns drawn in the middle of that intersection. We first brought you this breaking story today at noon. All of this happening near Ballantyne, right in front of the Promenade on Providence Shopping Center. That's right at the intersection of Providence Road, Ballantyne Commons Parkway, and McKee Road. Channel 9's Greg Suskin followed this story today. And Greg, this, you say, started with an encounter that was really a shocking one with Charlotte firefighters. Yeah, that's right. It absolutely was. Police say firefighters showed up here for what looked just like a medical call. It was right here in the middle of Providence Road at that intersection way back there behind me, which is McKee Road. They say when firefighters walked up to this car to approach this man and try to help him, they say he pulled a gun on them. Those firefighters backed off contacted the police department. You can see from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom that fire engine parked next to the car. About a dozen police cruisers surrounded it and SWAT was called out when officers were unable to make any contact with the driver at all. Right up Tyler Williams car, watched as police car, tried to make progress for him. hours. They were talking to him over the loudspeaker. Um, they were telling him to throw his weapon out of the car at that time and he, you know, he wasn't complying. People who live and work nearby heard SWAT was there in the middle of a busy road and were concerned. I'm freaking out when he say it's SWAT here. And I know when SWAT coming is because it's hard situation. This is what Ballantyne Commons Parkway looked like. Providence and McKee Roads as well were blocked from around 11 until almost 2 in the afternoon. Police were turning cars around in both directions in case the standoff led to gunfire. We have a lot of frustrated people, but again, we have uh, someone who is not communicating with us in the middle of Providence Road who has very uh, close accessibility to a firearm. Police say after first pointing the gun at firefighters, it was placed on the dash and stayed there. It came to an end when members of the SWAT team stormed the car and the man surrendered peacefully. And as of right now at 5 o'clock, this man has not yet been officially identified. He was taken from here for a medical evaluation. CMPD telling me they're not even sure at this point if he's going to face any charges.